The Indian Air Force will receive its first two Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets on 17th October at Hal Nashik. The United States has denied reports that Pakistan will receive new MRAM missiles under a $41 million defense contract, clarifying that the contract covers maintenance and spare parts for Pakistan's existing MRAM missiles. India has upgraded its technical mission in Kabul to a full-fledged embassy, paving the way for full diplomatic relations with the Taliban-led government in Afghanistan. The Taliban foreign minister has said, that Afghanistan will not allow its soil to be used for any anti-India activity, a pointed message directed at Pakistan. India and UK have signed the implementing arrangement for collaboration on electric propulsions for naval ships worth $330 million. The Indian Air Force and the Royal Air Force have agreed on a cooperative training arrangement, under which Indian Air Force's flying instructors will serve as trainers for the Royal Air Force. UK has signed a $468 million deal to supply Martlet lightweight multiral missiles to the Indian Army. The laser-guided missile can be shoulder-fired, or launched from tripod vehicle helicopter or naval platforms, to engage light-armored vehicles and low-flying aerial targets up to 6 kilometers away. India and Australia have signed an MOU on submarine search and rescue cooperation, to enhance coordination and readiness in dealing with submarine emergencies. Turkey has pitched its 45 km range Hisaro Plus and 100 km Plus Cyper surface to air missile systems to the Bangladesh military. Pakistan Air Force is exploring underground airbase facilities to protect its aircraft, after 11 of its airbases were hammered by the Indian Air Force during the May 2025 conflict. Greek media has reported, that Greece must go ahead with immediate procurement of BrahMos cruise missiles to counter Turkey's expanding naval power. The Indian Army has fast-tracked procurement of the indigenous Saksham counter drone grid from Bharat Electronics Limited, that integrates radar sensors and AI-driven data fusion to provide a real-time air picture of the tactical battlefield up to 10,000 feet, and supports both soft kill and hard kill measures. Haryana-based Anna drone systems has delivered its Abe anti-radar decoy drone to the Indian Armed Forces three months ahead of schedule, that is designed for suppression of enemy air defense missions. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has set up an advanced control system test facilities for small engines in Bengaluru. India's Rudram-3 hypersonic air-launched missile is ready for testing on the Su-30. The Mach 5 Plus missile offers a range of 550 to 600 kilometers, giving the Indian Air Force a powerful standoff capability against high-value targets and enemy radar installations. The DRDO has finalized the configuration of the FUFA futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft, and has completed its preliminary design review. Wind tunnel testing is in progress, and the integrated flight control computer is in advanced development, and the industry partners have begun detailed airframe design under a turnkey contract. The Aeronautical Development Agency is setting up an advanced high and bird test facility for the AMCA program, which will be fully operational within 30 months. The facility will simulate AMCA's complete flight control architecture, hydraulic systems, avionics interfaces and mission computers in a ground-based environment, allowing engineers to validate flight control laws, redundancy management, and system integration performance well before the first prototype takes flight. A Ukrainian defense website has reported, that a cyber leak has exposed internal Russian documents, revealing issues with the Zukemi radar on India's MiG-29K fighters and the Russian-made resistory radar complex aboard INS Vikrant, which has reportedly been causing serious operational problems. Analysts have cautioned that the Ukrainian report may carry anti-Russian propaganda bias. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.